What's going on guys, Matt Everett here with Lethal Camaro and of course today is one of those days where I'm traveling and so GM rolls out a brand new video so I am in a hotel traveling here in LA. Yeah, but today's news or yesterday's news or however you want to spin it. <clears throat> a lot of people are going to run the headline Camaro Z01 beats GT350R or Camaro Z01 destroys its previous lap time at the Nürburgring. Now, I think the story is a little bit bigger than that and I think a lot of people won't look at it from this angle but <clears throat> let me do my best to come at a different angle that I think other people won't think about or talk about. So, as you guys know, the new 2017 Z01 running the LT4 motor, it's a beast in its own right. It's not nearly as quick as the Z06. It's actually, what is that, seven seconds slower than the Z06 at the Nürburgring, and six seconds is quite a bit of time um, on that track. Now, for a car that's heavier with the same motor, I'm not completely shocked by that. Uh, I, I don't know. But I think a couple other caveats that you have to throw out there is the Z06 did run a track that was slightly different than what the Z01 ran. There had been some updates, some changes. How much that could impact time, I don't know. Maybe tenths of seconds. I, I don't know the true story. But from what I do understand is the GT350R and the Z01, they basically ran the same track just on different days. Now, as most of you guys know, <clears throat> the GT350R uh, beat out the fifth gen Z28 on the Nürburgring. Not by much, but it did. And that was a big thing. Like, I think it beat it by a couple seconds. And people were like, oh my God, that's an amazing, blah, blah, blah. Like, that was the benchmark, right? Uh, and rightfully so, the GT350R should be compared to the Z28. Now, it's a newer platform versus an older platform, that's great. You know, GM will have to answer when they roll out with the Z28. The Z01 is not the car to pit versus the GT350R. But the story is not only did the Z01 beat the GT350R, it, uh, it sets up GM in a good spot because the new Z28 is their track car. That's the car that's gonna throw down the numbers. And if the Z01 on the new platform put down numbers, I believe it was seven minutes, 29 seconds with six tenths of a second uh, on its full track time. And, uh, God, where's the numbers? So the four Shelby GT350R threw down a time of seven minutes, 32 seconds and nine, or 19 tenths. The new Z01 did 729 and 60 tenths, and they have a beautiful video. I posted it down in the description below. So if you want to see how that run went, and you know, Ford Shelby doesn't have uh, a link to their video, unfortunately. But the one thing I just want to highlight, and let's see if I could find it, the Z28 did 7 minutes 37 seconds and 47 tenths. So the difference between the GT350R and the Z28 was quite a bit, but you know, a lot of people will make excuses saying the Z28 ran in rain. GM had plenty of chances to go back and rerun that race if they wanted a better time. But <clears throat> in, in high sight, with the Z01 beating the GT350R, that sets the stage for the new Z28. I might be lofty in my words here, but we'll destroy it. I mean, the Z28 has always beaten the Z01, and yeah. I, I think we're in for a pleasant surprise when the Z28 is finally revealed. Uh, being just an all-around track car meant for the track versus the Z01, which is a much heavier car with a supercharger and all the amenities built into it. So I think we're in for a real treat um, come 2018, if that is really alarm. Come 2018, if that is when we see the Z28. And I honestly feel they're going to wait to roll out the Z28 for the GT500. But I don't know. Who knows? So I know a lot of you guys are going to comment below on excitement or other caveats or other details. But I think, you know, these cars are never going to be at the Nürburgring on the same day racing each other. So the fact that the Z01 even ran, what, close to three seconds faster? Was that a little over three seconds faster? Um, it's pretty impressive, but they're not running the same day. 
But I think, again, the big story is the Z28 is going to beat the Z01. And even seeing these American muscle cars up in the top 25, 30 for the Nürburgring is insane. I mean, oh, let me put my phone back out. It's, it's not something that's been seen before. So the Ford Shelby GT350R is the 35th fastest track time on their list. The Z01 is number 30. And I mean, you're up there with Porsche Carrera GTs, McLaren MP12Cs, Ferraris, BMW M4, Porsche 911 GT3, Nissan GTR. I mean, these cars are cars that have ran two seconds faster than the Z01. I mean, the, the Shelby GT350R, amazing car, an amazing time on the track. Uh, but, you know, it beat out the Audi R8, beats out, obviously, the older Camaro Z28. I mean, there's, where's the old Z01? The old Z01 did 7 minutes 41 seconds. So you're talking a good, sorry, math is hard early in the morning, 12 seconds faster, uh, roughly. That's insane. That's a huge improvement over previous generation car. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of the Z01's numbers? How do you think this sets up the Z28 to go against whatever Ford has coming in 2018 and beyond? Uh, how do you think it pits the Z01 and the Z28 versus the current GT350 and 350R? Knowing that the Z01 is not necessarily the competitor to either of those cars, uh, but more so the Z28 will be the competitor. And if the Z01 is playing the SmackDown, it's going to be interesting to see what the Z28 throws down. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Likes, comments, shares, always appreciated. I'm sorry I'm not around my car. I am traveling. Uh, this is going to be one of those one-off videos. I'm going to try to edit and get live quickly, but it's like 6.30 in the morning right now. It's super early, so sorry if I look like a zombie. I just literally rolled out of bed and read the internets. So, but leave comments below. Let me know what you guys think, and until next time, I'll see you on the road.